Jay Bachelor, Hip Hop Weekly Magazine in H Town. Shout out to Texas, Dallas, Port Arthur, Houston, Austin. But it's all about that H Town right now because that's where we're at. And uh, you know, the indie spotlight is kind of our way to shine the light on up and coming artists, artists that are doing their thing, got some music out. Uh, we've got plenty of questions for you. But before I hop into all that, kind of tell us about yourself and uh, how you got started in music. All right, word. Uh, go by Schematic B. Uh, Most City Raised. Uh, as far as music, came up, been in the background of like Maze, Curtis Mayfield. That was where the love began. And then I didn't really start making music myself until after high school in a rebellious type phase. Got you, got you. So um, what was it that kind of uh, made you decide, you know what? I don't want to just love music. I want to create music and share my music with the world. Well, it wasn't until I got the chance to actually get in the studio and see it happen and that I realized that I could also possibly do that. Tell us about your first studio experience. Who were you watching? Oh, Why were you there? Take <laughs> us back a little bit. All right, so first studio session was, I want to say about three years ago, maybe, uh, in the south, on the south side, Trap House Studio. Um, I was recording with my, my homie Jalil, and from there it was just like, just the environment of all the equipment, the technology, it just, it fascinated me. A thousand doubt. So, as you probably know by now, um, singing songs and rapping, but actually hopping into the studio recording and that entire process are two completely different things. What was your first recording session like? The first time you heard yourself on tape? How did you feel about that? All right, so the first time, it was before I could even hear myself, it was... Uh, I want to say it's K Water, uh, south, another uh, producer on the south side, recording in like back room closet, and uh, I didn't really know how to really, I guess, conduct myself in the booth. So I was just in there, nervous, hands in my pocket. So uh, thinking I was about to rap before I could even say the first bar, the, the door open. Get your hands out your pocket, boy. And like I'm just like, what? <laughs> yeah, bro, you got to come with it. So I was like, okay. No doubt, no doubt. So you, you you went through that learning curve and you're still here, you didn't give up. Uh, you're, you're, you're a full-fledged artist now. Talk to us about the new music, what's out there for people to check out, and what makes your sound so significant. All right, so currently I have a project called Confunction, and you can find that on Bandcamp, uh, maticb92.bandcamp.com. Um, also, I'm on SoundCloud, backslash schematicb. Um, yeah, Confunction. There's some, something on there for everyone. Uh, from if you like the whole electronic wave, some uh, some boom bap, it's hip hop. It's, it, it covers all. So, something on there for everybody. No doubt. You got to explain that title, Confunction. I'm not even sure I know what that means. <laughs> so, you got to kind of break down the meaning behind that, that title for your project. Well, it just depends on when you were born, because a lot of the older cats, they feel like that's like, P-Funk, uh, Confunction, like the funk uh, group. But it initially started as just uh, like a collage, a collage of different sounds that I was into at the time. So that's the, the primary basis of it, just a collage or a collaborative type project. No doubt, no doubt. Now, now tell us, um, how often are you recording new music? How often are you writing new music? Kind of break down your work schedule, your work ethic to us. Well, I write as often as possible. Um, not in the studio as much as I like to be, but uh, yeah, writing all the time, coming up with concepts, off track at work, <laughs> thinking about music and stuff like that. Still working nine to five, but uh, yeah, as much as possible. You know, you know, it's it's interesting you said that because so many artists feel like to pursue their dream they have to abandon their day job, but you know, there's still bills to be paid until you reach where you're going. So how do you balance having that nine to five with putting so much work and so much effort into your passion? Just whatever downtime I have is just no sleep. Putting everything outside of work into music. So that's whether it's just conceptualizing, uh, trying to write out visual treatments, 
or just working on projects to come. No doubt, no doubt. I want you to kind of give us um, two tracks mm -hmm. that are currently available online from you okay. that you want our online family to check out. And tell, tell me why those two tracks are so special. All right, so two tracks, I would have to say Trip to Nowhere. I want to say it's probably three, anywhere from three to five on, on the project itself. But that's just a yeah, nice uh, Sade sample, which is my favorite. Um, it's just a nice track to ride to. So if you ride around, around the city, it just slows down time. Like, and that's testing time and time again. Um, and then I got to pick two. Yeah, just one two. more. Yeah. Uh, we need one more. Come on. All right. Let's see. It would probably be Scandalous. Why Scandalous? Because that's kind of like the the track that gets you up and moving. It's, it's got a nice nice bass line in it, and it's it's crazy. Absolutely, absolutely. Now you know it's it's so early in the in the year. You've already talked to us about Confunction, but it's so early that I feel like we kind of gotta let the online audience know of um, something we have coming up. Mm -hmm. So there's something for them to look out for. Yeah. So is there is there a project in the works that can be kind of keeping an eye out for? Yeah, uh, the next project is the sequel to Confunction, which is Symbiosis. Uh, it's, once again, it's kind of blending genres, trying not to stay in that in that box of just hip hop or just rap, just but creating music. No doubt, no doubt. Now, why is it so important to you that you, you, you aren't boxed in as an artist? Why is it important that genres are something that you continue to challenge um, through your work? Well, I think it takes a more talented person to, to kind of dabble or, or master different genres as well as, I mean, if you only got one lane, I mean, somebody cut you off and slow you up, that's not really uh, ideal. No doubt, no doubt. And what, what do you want to say? Because, you know, oftentimes for independent artists, it, it's this long journey. I would say it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. There's this long journey. But along the way, there are people that, that motivate you and, and believe in you and support you. So before I let you go, what do you want to say to all those people that have stood behind your music, believed in what you're capable of, and are still with you to this day? Well, I have to say I appreciate y'all very, very much. Um, it's been quite a journey already, and it's, just stay tuned. Stay along for the ride. No doubt. The best is yet to come. We in H-Town, Jay Bachelor, Hip Hop Weekly Magazine. Yo, before I let them go, you got to hit us with that Twitter. You got to hit us with that Instagram. How do we okay. keep up with you on social media? All right, so Twitter, Instagram, uh, at M-A-T-I-C underscore B-92. That's M-A-T-I-C underscore B-92. No doubt. That's what it is. Hip Hop Weekly.